G'day guys, welcome to Ian's Wonderful World of Bees. It is seven days since I placed the new purchase queen into this split. We're gonna go in, take the little queen cage out that she arrived in. An interesting thing to note here with this split, if you take a look back at my last vlog, you'll see, is that within 12 hours, I had bees coming out of this split circling around orientating themselves to his hives so that was a very interesting thing to see it's very warm here today i'm sweating already you didn't really need to know that but the bees are out and about looking good we're going to check this girl out if we find her we're going to mark her while the hive is quite small so we can locate her a lot better second hive well i'll just take a feeder out of that i'll take the feeder out of that one I put in a couple of empty frames and on the feral hive right up the end there today i'm putting a super on it's only an ideal i've gone with ideal supers because i really don't want the weight if i have to lift that super off to get into the brood rearing area so let's get stuck in there's a few things i want to show you and a few things more to talk about okay let's check this split out looking good girls well, it appears that the queen in her little box has been eaten away. There we go there. There is a bee in there. There's a number of bees in there. Feed is empty, they've sucked down a litre and a half this week. Good eye. This is looking fantastic. I would say five full frames of bees in there. Excellent. For those who were wondering, I am running open bottom boards. Oh, this is fantastic. Uh, these guys bring in nectar for sure. Look how calm they are. I hope they've got a queen. Check that out. They've all got their bums up. Just here. It's a roll. Beautiful. Beautiful. Cups here. Look at this. There is two. There's nothing in them. I'm happy to leave those. I do want to have a better look though. There's definitely some larvae in there. I'm not sure if they were eggs before they went in. I'll have to look at the size of them and see how old I believe they would be. This was that frame with a stack of brood in it. Check the other side out full of it still so that's really good they've got plenty of young bees to come through we're just hoping we have a queen I'll have to come back in seven days you should leave it about 14 days to see if you have any eggs in there I'm think I'm seeing eggs just in here just in around this point here I think there are eggs in there and I'm very confident about that one this time so a bit of luck that queen's going to hang around. We'll know next week. Yes, we have eggs. You ripper. All right, I'm going to leave this. I'm not finding the queen today. I'll come back in another week. I'm positive that she's currently there. I don't need to feed this time of year. Even on this split, they've got resources in there. It's all good. Hive two. This is the hive I took the split from. We should have... I think we should have a fair amount of bees in there because I've seen a lot flying around. Look at them. This is a split I did last week. It's pumping. I'll get that spare frame in there. Ian, get yourself a bloody hive mat, boy. I might run up there and see what... Oh, no, I haven't got anything that big. Actually, I do. I have my timber ones. Maybe I'll go with that. I'll go up now and get that. Come back bucket also look at this within a week they have drawn out comb in my sugar feeder in seven days there was a litre and a half in there seven days ago unbelievable I don't know why I'm looking in here I'll just have a peek while I'm here no real reason oh good 
wonder if they've drawn out the new comb I put in there. Let's have a look at that cracker. Yeah, you're ripper. Seven days drawing that out nicely, even the other side. Huh? Tell you what, give it two weeks, that might be ready for a super. Mm -hmm. I'll just spin off it. Okay, let's get into Mr. Feral Hives. I think we had a few cream cups in here last week, nothing to worry about. Okay, this is in seven days. Absolutely pumping! I am going to get the soup on today. Enough's enough. Oh, I didn't tell you. Oh, I'm getting swarmed by bees. I had a call from the specialist today regarding my anaphylaxis. Now, I did have a blood test. The results have come through. Previously, we had thought that because I had been stung before my anaphylaxis or particularly after it, and I only welted, remember the one I had on the neck? He was thinking that I just had a overload of venom toxicity. Well, the blood tests have come back today and um, it's a high reading for bee venom, which means anaphylaxis. It's not good. So I need to have further discussions with my doctor on how I move forward on this, whether I become desensitized or not. So isn't that fantastic news? Anaphylactic beekeeper, give me a break. Wow, check this out. Oh, look at the horse. 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 Look at that. That was this week. Go straight to a middle frame. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at all that brood. Three weeks ago I didn't think I had a queen. Yeah, this hide is pumping. Alright. Seen enough. Just a few bees. I'm going with a queen excluder also. code to match. So I've just got some plastic frames in here. Happy days. 